Louisiana Beer Reviews, Brooklyn Winter Lager. This was introduced, introduced in 2017. This is the first video review for this beer in the world. Um, it's a strange label. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Like denim. Some kind of fur, whatever. A fur, okay, like a fur coat, denim. Whatever the case. 5.6% uh, alcohol, best before the date printed on the bottle. It's got the date, guys. Best before March of 2018. Um, they don't give the IBU. It's certified kosher. And it is brewed in Utica, New York. Not Brooklyn, but Utica. FX Matt, the Utica Club Company. Um, the malt lineup is German Munchen, Carafa, Pilsner, and Black Barley Malt. The hops are Summit, Harlotal, Middelfru, Amarillo, and Centennial. Gets a good score on Bear Advocate. They're saying 73. Okay, they call that good. 22 ratings. 71 out of 100 on Rape Beer. And an 89 out of 100 in the, in the style. So in the black beer, the Schwartz beer style, they like it a lot. With only 12 ratings. So no video reviews as of yet. And only 34 written reviews. Alright, so hope it's good. Um, Lee Posnanski, he wanted to review the... Uh, wanted to review the Brooklyn Lager and I couldn't find a fresh bottle. Bottle, sorry about that, I forgot the glass. <clears throat> okay, I bought this at Rouse's and I think it was a dollar forty-nine for the single. I've not seen it anywhere else. Anywhere. A little smoke. Brooklyn Beers used to be really common around here. Then it started to fade about two, three years ago. Now some stores you don't even see any of their product. It's strange. Okay, a beige head here at 8.30 and a, a dark brown appearance. Nearly black, right? Schwartz, black beer. But with the light shining through it, you can pick up the lighter brown the light coming through it and even some ruby so it's a nice looking lager 5.6 that's getting into the malt liquor territory <laughs> all right may not even say beer anywhere on here winter lager brewers association certified independent craft nope doesn't say beer because you can't sell beer that strong, but you can sell lager. All right. I see that some stuff, usually imports, will slip through the cracks and it'll say beer and it might be 8%, but you don't really see American stuff like that. Um, there's some roasted malt on the aroma, some bread crust toast, but not a whole lot really. Malt. The aroma is not too strong. I guess if it warmed, it would start. To, if it warmed, it would start to come out. Yeah. A little acrid there. A little bit from the burnt, the char. Um. That could give the bitterness units a. A little more a higher rating not from the hops but from the char acrid bitterness decent lacing medium body some little syrupy maltness like a light 
molasses like maybe a burr rabbit with a lighter type. I know that burr rabbit is mostly black strap molasses. It's not that. Little chocolate. Honestly, a little chocolate, a little coffee. Tim wouldn't like that. He doesn't like the coffee. The guy does videos. He hates coffee. So he smashed the bottle on the pavement because he paid a lot of money for it. It tastes like coffee. I said, boy, that's, that's anger there. Um, pretty crisp finish. It's on the drier side in the finish. Um, if you like the Schwartz beer, the Black Lager, and I don't know if you do, Boston Beer Company, Samuel Adams Black Lager is good, although I find it's a little even a little more burnt tasting than this. It goes a little too far. This is very good. I would say this is like a B plus, a very good beer. Okay, so the written, they're saying good. Good. I'm saying very good. Um, I would recommend it. I think the Black and Voodoo from Dixie is probably better. A little smoother and not so char. I think the Asahi Korona, Koronama, Koronomi, the, what is it, the black Asahi is better, but you can't find it. Um, i trying to think if there are any others. can't think of any offhand, although I know there are. So I have this great value. It's called uh, Chunk Chicken Breast with Rib Meat and Water. It's a strange kind of combination. With Rib Meat and Water. Distributed by Walmart stores. 98% fat free. Fully cooked. Um, chicken breast meat with rib meat. Water. Contains 2% or less of sea salt, modified food starch, sodium phosphates, chicken flavor, salt, chicken broth, natural flavors, or whatever that is, and flavoring. I don't know. I have these uh, Blue Diamond gluten-free crackers. I, I can handle gluten, but I just bought them because the store had them really cheap, and they turned out to be good. It's like rice crackers, I guess, rice and corn crackers. And then I have this uh, Bel Joiso mascarpone cheese I'm still trying to get through, which I'm enjoying. It's really delightful. Okay, come on, go in there. Um, okay, rib meat. Louisiana Supreme. And then on one of these, this is from St. Martin to Louisiana, Louisiana Supreme Hot Sauce, and then I'll put this Yamasa soy sauce. From Japan. This was sent to me by Ken. It's taking me a while, Ken. I don't use soy sauce a lot. Okay, so how's this going to taste? Mm. Well, if you like creamy spreadable cheese, crackers, chicken with rib meat, <laughs> you might like it. See what the soy sauce one does. If I can pick it up. It's interesting. The Yamasa is really good soy sauce. It's better than your average brand, like Kiko Man, Kiko Man, and all that. So anyway, 
One thing I noticed, the spear has outstanding lacing. So let's say Le Bon Temps Relay. A very good beer, and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.